Hi everybody, today I'll be doing a book review for How to Think Politically by Graham Garrett and James Bernard Murray. Um, and this book is on political philosophy or political theory. And the subtitle of it is, uh, is How to Think Politically, Sages, Scholars, and Statesmen Whose Ideas Have Shaped the World. And what this book is, is um, an exploration into the different uh, political figures who have influenced political theory, political philosophy, uh, as well as just politics in general, um, and therefore possibly history. Uh, and it, it talks about, it takes each political figure and then it explores their thought, and not only their thought, political thought, but their thought within the context of uh, history um, as you progress through the book. So it's separated into four different parts. Um, ancients, medievals, moderns, and contemporaries. And um, each part um, breaks down several different thinkers um, and then sort of summarizes them into a condensed uh, five or six page, roughly, chapter, maybe a little longer than that. Um, <clears throat> now, I thought Garrard and Murphy did a really good job of simplifying a lot of these political thinkers and giving you um, just sort of a rough screenshot of them and what they think. And uh, I th also thought that this book was valuable even more so than uh, an anthropology or say a textbook on political theory um, because a lot of uh, smaller books, let me show you some examples, a lot of smaller books like, like this one Will uh, classic political philosophy for the modern man, which is very good. I haven't done a book review of it yet, um, but this one talks more about. It gives you uh, pr the primary source material, and then it, at the beginning of every mater every material, like an anthology, it gives you a little bit of a summary. Um, and then in this one, actually I'll do that one last. And then in textbooks, you could have the same thing, like this one is, where it also like this one gives you um, the primary source, but it's just a lot more content. Um, and yeah, basically it's just a lot more content because <laughs> it's meant for a textbook to be used in a classroom. Um, but unlike talking about the primary source of political thinkers, uh, what Garrard and Murphy did is they make a really condensed summary of some key political figures. Uh, and they make it really um, comprehen comprehensible. comprehensible. Uh, by someone who uh, either doesn't really know a lot about political theory or is kind of confused by um, the massive amount of literature on political theory and uh, a lot of the primary sources can kind of be a lot of really dense um, a lot of them were written a long time ago um, for example he talks about Plato and Confucius and Aristotle in the beginning of, or they do in the beginning of this book and if you go and try to read the primary sources of the, that material um, while well, I would recommend doing so, and they are very good, uh, if you're just, one, if you're just getting started in political theory, or two, if you don't plan on investing a lot of time into researching political theory, and you just want a sort of shorter um, uh, crash course, basically, um, then Garrett and Murphy do a really good job of introducing that to you. Now, there is another type of introduction uh, to political philosophy, and that would be a book that, rather than t focus on the thinkers, like this book and the other two I showed that it do, they focus more on the important ideas of history. Um, you'll either find this in a lot of uh, political theory, political philosophy textbooks, and they'll talk a lot about, uh, like, so chapter one will be democracy versus whatever, and chapter three will be, um, you know, the state of nature. And then they'll, within the topic, they might mention political thinkers, but in the context of ideas. So it's rather con it's concept based rather than thinker based, and you find that in a lot of different philosophy, including, um, I mean, other than political philosophy. Um, and one example of that would be this book, which I just finished uh, a few months ago. I haven't done a review on it yet. Is a political philosophy introduction that takes that route. It looks at political theory more conceptually. It tries to give you a more conceptual crash course into political theory. And the, the reason I bring up all these differences is because while all of these are very useful and while all of these I have found to be very interesting uh, for someone who is really trying to delve into political theory, 
in political philosophy, uh, for someone either starting or wanting a crash course, I would actually recommend this one now. I used to recommend this one, which I still do, a very good book, and a very good introduction, um, which is really good. But uh, I would place this one slightly above it. Um, it's just a very good um, and pal palatable read, and also very entertaining. And there were some thinkers in here uh, that I had not come across before that it was really interesting to read about. And there were other thinkers where I have read about them, but maybe not their political theory. So um, it was interesting to hear what those thinkers had to say on those types of things. To give you an example, Thomas Aquinas. Um, I didn't really know much about Thomas Aquinas' political thought. Um, just more about his metaphysical thought and religious thought. So the short chapter on him in here was very interesting. Um, and also, not, not only is this beneficial because you learn about the thinkers and their contexts, uh, excuse me, the thinkers and their ideas, as you would in a more conceptual style introduction book or textbook, you also, the value of this summarization is you also learn about their historical context as well as um, more about them personally, which I think really helps to not only make you understand the ideas because you kind of get where they're coming from, but also understand um, that it really ingrains more of that historical context of the political uh, thoughts and concepts that are being explored. So overall, I'm going to give Garrett and Murphy's How to Think Politically a 4 out of 5 review and I would strongly recommend it as an introductory uh, read into political theory and political philosophy. And I actually uh, was out um, somewhere with a friend who studies political science, and one of his friends came who also studies political science. I didn't know him. We were talking about political uh, theory, which he uh, he was more in, he's more into like election and political science side of politics. Uh, but he was asking about book recommendations, so I recommended him these two books. And at the time that he, I was, had that conversation with him, I had just finished this one a few days prior. Um, so I told him that this one was really definitely the way to go. And I stand by that recommendation. Thanks for watching.